Hey guys, Superbro Mike here, and I'm here with a little quick video today just to say happy 414 day to you Bendy fans. Of course, the 14th of April or the number 414 in general is synonymous with Bendy and the Ink Machine, and we got, of course, last year the Bendy and the Dark Revival teaser trailer. As well as that, we got an audio log with the date 414, and of course, in the game itself, the tally marks, if you count them all up, add up to 414 infinite loops, like 440. 14 infinite loops to date when Henry completes his adventure in Bendy and the Ink Machine. So, so it's kind of an in-joke by the Bendy developers to release something on the 14th of April or to do things within the game to do with that number. It has been for quite some time. So obviously the Bendy community has been releasing a lot of art today and have probably been expecting some kind of video from me. So I thought I'd put out a little video which is just going to be talking about a very very small teaser that was released for Bendy and the Dark Revival, which is of course the big game you're all waiting for on this channel. I know that I haven't done as much Bendy and Ink Machine stuff recently. We've covered Boris and the Dark Survival, and we've looked at the Bendy and the Dark Revival teaser trailers that came out last year, but at the moment, I don't really want to make content for the sake of it. I'm doing some other kinds of videos. As soon as Bendy comes back out, of course we'll cover it. And so today, I thought we'd look at this teaser. So what is this picture all about? Well, at face value, it just says the Ink Demon lives which is basically to say Bendy will be back in this new game which I think everybody already assumed or kind of knew. We have seen some merchandise come out for the game which released quite a lot earlier than it was meant to I think when the game was still meant to be coming out last year and that's obviously confirmed that Bendy will return in this game and he does have a slightly different design as well. As well as that we may even see different variants of Bendy although that can't be confirmed 100% without seeing how the game turns out. So it does seem like this teaser's just saying, you know, Bendy is still alive, the game's still coming, yada yada. However, if we brighten the image, we do get a second message which says break the cycle. So it seems to hint that this game is once again going to be focusing on the infinite loop that got started with Bendy and the Ink Machine. Henry's infinite loop now seems to be passed over to Audrey, who is also stuck in this cartoonish nightmare, the version of Joey Drew Studios created by the Ink Machine, or at least that's my theory on it and uh, it seems like we'll be trying to break the cycle, free everybody from this sort of inky prison and finally you know put Bendy to rest and get everybody out of this inky world that they're trapped in. So it seems like that's going to be the objective which means this new game will probably tie into Bendy and the Ink Machine in many different ways although they are being very sort of uh, cagey about what they say on this. I think the story is heavily under wraps and we're going to all have to wait and see and it's probably going to be one of those games much like the original where it will be down to the theory side of the community to fill in the gaps before all is eventually sort of revealed but with these kinds of horror games of course we always have questions to ask and that's part of the fun of them I think. Either way, this is all what we got today. It's a little teasy. You can also see Bendy's hand appears at the corner of the frame. We also had the winners of the Boris and the Dark Survival art competition announced, which I'll show on screen now. So congratulations to all of those guys and girls who took part in that. And obviously we'll see their art in the next update, which is coming for Boris and the Dark Survival very soon. When that new update does drop, of course, I will be covering it on the channel. So stay tuned for that. And then finally, we also got a Bendy fan kit. I will put a link to that below so you guys can go check it out. This fan kit gives you lots of fun activities to sort of get involved with including puppet theatres and cooking and artwork so you know go and check it out if you're interested in sort of the art side of the Bendy community and get involved with that. But with that said guys this has just been a really short video just to say you know happy 414 day to you Bendy fans. I'm sorry I haven't done a massive video. Uh, I have got some Bendy videos that I'm kind of thinking about doing to do with the characters sort of character profile videos which I might do in the future but at the moment I'm working on a few other little projects. But thanks for watching today's video guys, I hope you did enjoy it and if you did remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next video.